So I just want to have a look at a quick tip about something in Aries. I had a question from a customer about um, shading referenced elements. So if you go into the drop down here and you look, you've got pickable reference and inactive. Customer wants to be able to shade things when it's referenced. So when you can actually snap to it um, in the layer or when it's inactive. And um, that wasn't something that I thought was possible till I delved a bit deeper and asked some of the development team. And they pointed me in the direction of these two new op two options. I'm not sure how long, which version they've been in, but shaded inactive layers and shaded reference layers, if I turn this on, allows me to now say, well, what do I want to be inactive? So if we take the actual rim and make it inactive, you see it now stays shaded. Whereas before, if I'd have done that, it wouldn't have stayed shaded. So let's turn that off. Let's get rid of this make it pickable, go back into the options, visualization, turn it off. And if I say shade again, it's all shaded because all, all the geometry is relevant and um, re not reference pickable. If I make that inactive, now it would unshade because it's not shadable. And if I go back in, I was to go back in, just let's turn that off. So I'm if I change it part way through, it won't actually update. So I need to make sure this is on and then change this option to be inactive and it will stay inactive, but shaded. So it means that we can check fits of things. We can't, we can, maybe we're trying to snap to something um, like this wheel nut, but we don't want to snap to geometry around it. So now I can use that to see the different colors in this case. Um, and because this is reference I can see it fully but I can just turn that off so the referenced is not shaded but the inactive component is um, it just gives me many options of um, when I'm working with geometry together I hope that's of help